In this video, you will learn how to install a Go device using Geotab's 14-pin RP1226 harnesses in any vehicle with an RP1226 accessory connector. For this demonstration, we will install the Go device in a 2021 Volvo VNL truck. You may need a variety of tools depending on your vehicle type. Some vehicles may require additional tools. Make a note of your Go device's serial number for future reference. In this vehicle, the RP1226 accessory connector is located in the fuse box. Remove the cover to expose the accessory connector. Connect the Geotab 14-pin RP1226 harness to the accessory connector. To ensure the connection is secure, toggle the red lock on the male end of the connector. Next, using a multimeter, test that at least one harness connector has constant power. Take the connector on the 16-pin side and attach it to the connector with power on the 14-pin side. Make sure it locks into place. Please note if there is no power on either connector, use the red fuse power lead that is supplied in the package to manually power up the unit. You will have to locate a constant power source. Next, connect the GO device to the 16-pin side of the harness, then proceed to turn on the engine. You will hear six beeps and see a momentary flash from the red, blue, and green LEDs. First, the LEDs on the front of the device will start blinking once the device connects and receives power. Then, the LEDs will turn solid once the device configures and connects back to the network. The red light indicates ignition detection, green indicates cellular network connection, and blue indicates GPS network connection. Fasten the harness and GO device using a cable tie. trim in the excess tie. Proceed to secure the GO device inside the fuse box. The bottom should have a good line of sight to the sky with minimal metal obstructions. To ensure the quality of data, the device must not move in any way. In this example, the device has been secured using multiple cable ties. As a final step, reattach any dash panels that you removed earlier. The installation is now complete. 